Bible stuff. Because they clearly don't understand. Who's guarding you, Chuck? It don't matter. Okay. Well, let me you know, check. First of all, you always... Well, do you need a point guard? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm okay. All right, if you didn't have me to want something, Thank you. I'm just letting you know. All right, yeah, okay. <laughs> How was K you did Kim Water, didn't you? Okay, so you always post up early ab above the box. The reason you post up above the box, because if you post down here, when you make a move, you're going to be going out of bounds. So basketball one-on-one, -on -one, always post on top of the box. And I always, you lock this guy. You got to bend your leg and hold this guy. Give the guy a target. And now, the reason you post up here is, because if you post up right here, you're going to go against the zone the whole time. And instead of making, uh, like if you get the ball here, it's only one dribble and you're in the basket. Well, show me what Dwight is doing right now. This is what Dwight does. Like. Okay, the Shaq, guard me. No, first of all, no, first of all, Dwight, <clears throat> Dwight is letting them yeah. Smile. And Blake does the same thing. Yeah, you let him, you let him yeah. push out. You can't, you can't do that. You're going to get where you want to. So you can be closer to the basket. You getting the ball way out here, uh, way out here serves no purpose. You're not making anybody better. You're not getting to the basket. Right. And you're not helping your team. So, so give the ball to Kenny for a second. And Charles, you come here and, and you're running down the floor. Show me how you establish post, post position. Oh, my first post position. First move for him is just like right here in the lane. That's my first move. Before I do anything. Because you do that now. Now, when you do that, they don't throw it to you. When they push you out, yep. then you're still coming then, to then the box. Then you're right here. Then you're coming to the box. My first move, oh. running right down the middle of the floor, get right there. They're going to five. First of all, you're going to get six to eight points a game if you run. Six to eight points a game. But you're going to get a couple fouls. But the main thing is, and they're probably a lot of times, they're going to push you to right here. But if you don't let them push you way out here, and even Shaq, Shaq front me. If Shaq fronts me, I'm going to lock it right there. Throw that ball to Kenny, Ernie, right there. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Uh -huh. I'm not going to let them push me. I always tell guys, listen, I'm not going to wrestle with you. Get where you want to get. I say, you get wherever you want to get. If you get up that high, I'm going to lock you right there. I'm not going to let you push me out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold my ground. No. Go ahead, Shaq. No, 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 Ernie. I said last week, we don't really know Dwight Howard's game. Every great big man had that one powerful move. Keem Olajuwon, jump hook first. Patrick Ewan, jump hook first. Knee jump hook. Now, when the defense and the scout reports, you know, try to stop that, you always have to have that counter move. you seen Dwight Howard. He bumped and he bumped. So all he had to do was the counter. You know, they teach that high school. Bump, bump. He's not going to give you your jump hook, so now you got a drop step. Boyani was waiting for him because he knew yeah. what he was going to do. Yeah. The only thing that... The only thing that Dwight Howard is doing every time he gets the ball, which is so, you know, predictable, he gets it, and he either insides reverse pivot or he outsides reverse pivot. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed because I read in an article he's working with Akeem, he's working with Mikhail. I haven't seen any, well, I, you any know, moves yet. The other thing that you guys are 100% right, but I always thought the last component of that is your body language. Yeah, to get the yes. ball. To get the yeah, ball. You know, so, like, I, as a point guard, okay, okay. I don't care if you open or not. Okay, hey, I'm just Shaq I, I, is so I, 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 I'm going to tell you what, Kenny. Kenny, throw yeah, me the ball. I'm going to throw it. Hey, hey, let me tell you right. something. Throw me the ball. I'm going to throw it. I mean, and, and let me tell you something. I used to get pissed sometimes. I would just say, okay. <laughs> and then, Three uh, seconds. Let's go this week. And then, you don't throw me a damn ball. I'm going to do that every time. <laughs> but I would do that sometimes. And, then, and, I, and I, I agree with that. And you know what? I, you know, I always say 28 points, 15, but... It's not about just getting here and posting up all the time. The ball's over there, Ernie. You're sticking me. You're sticking me. But you're not sticking me because every defense tells you you follow the ball. So you're going to be right here. You're going to be one so step away. So, so now you're going to be right here. So now you got to ask for the ball. you got to get easy buckets. Duck in. Ah, give it to me. Get up and go up and score. So like when I say he takes 20 shots, it ain't 20 shots from there. Five shots from right. there. Couple off the pick and roll. Three or four off the duck in. I mean, but, you know, Kenny made the, you, you know, his body language ain't right. Yeah. Turn, off, turn off the graphic we're talking about. But, and, but, but the thing we want to... We're talking about 30-plus minutes and five field goal attempts or fewer. Uh, Howard only had five shots tonight, one out of five. Wow. 30 games 